you guys have just drone the circuit out here now. It's the MOSFET cap dump circuit. What's his name? Uh, subscriber. I think he's a subscriber. And he's a... Uh, Emorbus. Or Ed Morbus. E D M O R B U S. Asked for the circuit, so I drone it out here for him now. It's the first time I've drone it out. I'll just explain a bit about it. Stuff you need to do when you when you're doing it. So the way say you got it like a say you're trying to pulse like 50 volts or 60 volts anything whatever you want right here doesn't really matter you can do it with this circuit as long as your MOSFET can handle it and the bridge rectifier can handle it because what you're going to be doing here is you have to take the positive of your It doesn't matter. You can do it with the negative too. You can put either or through here like this. It doesn't matter. I've usually used the positive though. So it is just like this. You take the DC from your cap bank that you want to pulse out of. Put it in series. Uh, this is really important because you don't want more than 16 volts going into this. And if you have less than 16 volts, you can get rid of this, this resistor. You won't need it. If you're getting, uh, let's say you're, you can only get it down to 20 volts for some reason or so, you can just add up like a, I can't remember, I think it's a 2K resistor for like 24 volts. If the regulator is going to see 24 volts, put like a 2K, try that. And if it's getting hot, put more resistance. If it's staying cool, take the resistance down a little bit. You know, just fine tune it. This isn't set in stone what value you need here, but just a matter of keeping this cool and as close to, to 12 volts, or, you know, 14, 15 volts as possible. Anything less than 16, you really don't need this. And then here, your battery voltage equal to voltage needed to be subtracted. So, and keep in mind, this battery will get charged. The amount of current that your circuit is using is how much this battery will get charged. So if you have, see, you're, you're running, a, you know, 60 volts from your bank here you're gonna want like a 45 volt bank here and if your circuits using 10 or 20 milliamp or whatever it's pulling that's how much your battery will be getting charged at it all depends on how much your circuit is using as to how much your battery gets charged and that voltage will be subtracted from here. Like, you know, your, your regulator won't see this full voltage. That's, that's how that part of the circuit works, and it's really important for, for this. Otherwise, you will fry this with a high voltage like that going into it. And then, uh, for your pulse width and stuff like that this is the key to changing right here if you want a longer one you put a bigger cap you can like bring this down to about 35 volts with a higher value that works pretty good or you can keep raising this value doesn't necessarily have to be 50 but I don't usually go less than 35 this is a 22 UF these are both polarized caps this changes to a 50 instead of a 100k like I have on my driver circuit. But it's pretty much the same 
timing circuit as a driver circuit, except for this is different, and this is different. And I, I, you'd want to put like a 100 ohm resistor here, minimum. Well, that's about it. It's your MOSFET. It's a real simple circuit. Just your tuning comes right here. And this is your pulse width. Or no, this is the duty cycle, and this is the frequency. So. That's about it. If you have any questions just let me know oh and yeah you'll need this cap here too this is a must otherwise you'll have noise in your circuit you have to have that i usually use a 35 volt 33 uf it doesn't have to be like that just as long as it smooths filters the noise out of the circuit but yeah works great But it does take a lot of tuning to get it to work properly. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Okay, I just wanted to say too, you can use an SSR with this circuit. These work just fine too, instead of having your MOSFET here. You don't even need this resistor if your voltage is coming out that's all you'll need just take care from number three positive one to your gate your negative to here and then all you do is switch your lines right there Totally isolated from the circuit with an SSR. Kind of like what I have over here. What I use this circuit for uh, fixing batteries. This is the exact circuit. That's always in use here, but I'm not using it right now. It's just. You can see, I have the transformer. It's a 24 volt transformer with a 12 volt center tap. So I just use that center tap to power the circuit. And there's a cap here to smoothen it out. Right? And then, sorry, I just got no room in here to film how I'm not right here. But then these SSRs are paralleled together. And then the outputs are from that big super cap bank right there. 24 volt. But yeah, just that can be your cap bank. And you do everything else, like I said, in the on the schematic here and it'll work out that's what I do for my cap dumps with the MOSFET high voltage like you can do really high voltage dumps with this circuit the right MOSFETs I hope that helps